In the beginning, the Islamic concept of creation, ex nihilo, the vast universe with its countless galaxies, stars, and planets, inspires awe and wonder. How did it all begin? In Islamic cosmology, the answer is clear. Allah, the Almighty, created the universe from nothing. This concept, known as creation ex nihilo, is central to Islamic belief. It emphasizes the absolute power and sovereignty of Allah, who is unconstrained by any pre-existing matter or energy. Imagine a void, an emptiness beyond human comprehension. There was no time, no space, no matter, only the infinite potential held within the being of Allah. Then, with an act of pure will, Allah brought forth the universe into existence. This act of creation is a testament to Allah's boundless power. It is a reminder that our existence and the existence of everything we observe is a gift from the divine. The Islamic concept of creation ex nihilo provides a framework for understanding the origin of the universe that is both profound and elegant. A spark in the void, the Big Bang, and quantum fluctuations. Modern science offers a compelling narrative of the universe's beginnings with the Big Bang theory. This theory posits that the universe originated from an extremely hot, dense state approximately 13.8 billion years ago. From this singularity, space itself expanded and the universe cooled, leading to the formation of the first particles, atoms, stars, and galaxies. Remarkably, the concept of a universe arising from a state of nothingness finds resonance in the realm of quantum mechanics. Quantum fluctuations, tiny energy fluctuations in the vacuum of space, suggest that particles can spontaneously pop in and out of existence. While these fluctuations typically occur on incredibly small scales, some physicists propose that a sufficiently large quantum fluctuation could have given rise to the universe itself. This intriguing possibility suggests a tantalizing link between the quantum world and the grand cosmic scale. From smoke to structure, the Quran's primordial nebula. The Quran, the holy book of Islam, offers a poetic description of the early universe. It describes the initial state of the cosmos as a smoke, dukan, that existed before the heavens and earth were formed. Then he directed himself to the heaven while it was smoke, and said to it and to the earth, Come willingly or by compulsion. They said, We have come willingly. Quran 41-11 this smoke can be interpreted as a primordial nebula, a vast cloud of gas and dust. Such nebulae are observed throughout the universe today and are known to be the birthplaces of stars and planetary systems. The Quran's description aligns with the scientific understanding of the early universe as a hot, dense soup of fundamental particles. As the universe cooled after the Big Bang, these particles combined to form atoms, primarily hydrogen and helium, the most abundant elements in the cosmos. These atoms then coalesced under gravity to form the giant clouds of gas and dust described in the Quran as smoke. B, and it is, the divine command and the birth of the cosmos. Central to the Islamic understanding of creation is the power of Allah's word. The universe came into being through a single divine command, kun, meaning B. In the Quran, Allah says, Indeed, our word to a thing when we intend it is but that we say to it, Be, and it is. Quran 16-40 This verse emphasizes the effortless ease with which Allah brings forth creation. A simple command, imbued with divine will, is all it takes to set the universe in motion. This concept highlights the awe-inspiring power of Allah's word. It is a word that transcends time and space, a word that carries the weight of creation itself. The Islamic tradition teaches that Allah's creation is continuous, and every moment of existence is a testament to the sustaining power of the divine.